the other night, which I'd never told before, that when Iran shot down a drone, a metal drone, was 14 years old, not very valuable, flying very near Iran. Behind it was an airplane with 39 engineers and pilots in it. And Iran shot down the drone. I said, did they shoot down the plane behind it? Because you have engineers that generally follow the drones, right? They said, no, sir, they didn't. I said, I see. They shot down the drone, but not the plane. They could have shot down the plane, which is about five times bigger. I said, that's interesting. So, but we had to hit them. So we hit them quite hard. We knocked out their radar and different things. And uh, we heard some word back from them because I made the statement that if they hit us back, we're going to do things to them that they've never thought possible. And Iran, this is Iran, the same Iran that's wiping Biden's face in the mud. They called us up and they said, first time I told this story was a week ago. They called us up and they said, listen, we have no choice. We have to hit you because we have our own self-respect. And I understood that. We hit them. They got to do something. We're going to launch 18 missiles at a certain military base that you have. And you remember that night, interesting night. I was the only one that wasn't nervous because I knew what was going to happen. They told us that don't be concerned. We're going to launch 18 missiles at your military base, but none of them will hit the base. These are very accurate missiles. These are missiles that essentially never miss. They're very reliable, very accurate. Five of them blew up in the air, didn't make it, and the others hit outside the base area. You remember that, Louis, you were there, right? Louis was very nervous. I wasn't nervous because I knew something that Louis didn't know. So they told me that they were going to hit us, but we, they were just, they just had to do it. Now, I never told that story before, but you know what that story is about? Respect for our nation. Respect for our nation.